Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and it is day two of May I Scrap Lift You for this month long series. Uh, so today I have chose to scrap lift uh, Jody Compton who is um, Floppy Eared Farm on Instagram as well as YouTube. So I will have her information linked down below so you can go check her out and give her some love. She has beautiful layouts, including this one. And I was like, this is like the perfect layout for like scraps or a uh, uh, six by six, six by eight paper pad. Like probably should have picked this for like mad about many paper pads. Uh, but I am actually using my scraps for my How to Kill a Kit with Style. Um, I know that I have just kind of been working through it here and there. So I haven't been like gung-ho with it. I'm actually trying to kind of make it last the, the three months. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I mean... I've already passed a month and I still have a lot left. So I will use it a lot this month. So this paper scraps. So some of them are from, like I said, a six by eight paper pad. What I did was I just picked a random size, cut at least three of every pattern. And then as you can see, I just kind of layered them on top of each other. Uh, down there at the bottom. Now I am going to go off screen and finish uh, all the all the little flappies. So you see there I did pop some of them up on Fun Foam, uh, but just a few of them, not very many. And I felt like three rows was enough. I think she has three rows, but I think it goes up a little higher. I think she uh, chose to do bigger scraps. So I... I'm just going to do a bigger piece of paper at the top. So she has white cardstock, which I could have had white cardstock, but I had this house paper and I was like, no, I want to use the house paper. So I am documenting this picture and it's funny because my son just looked at this layout and he's like, what is this of? Like, why are you scrapbooking this? So this is a picture of him and his girlfriend. And this was uh, last year uh, when he graduated from high school. This is him sitting and addressing all of his graduation invitations, which, as you can see, was the most fun thing he has ever done. Uh, and he had so much fun, he even suckered his girl in to help him. Um, no, he hated it. Like, I'm like, why? It, this is all for you. <laughs> Why? Uh, the thank you cards were, were even more of a struggle. Uh, but everything got done and out in a timely manner. And I maybe only lost my stuff at least once. <laughs> so, but I did want to tell the story about how much of a struggle it was to get him to write addresses. and. Uh, we had to discuss how you actually address an envelope. Uh, these kids, they, they don't, they don't send anything in the mail anymore. So like addressing an envelope, knowing that you need to put a stamp on it, knowing that you need to put a return label on it. And I did purchase return labels for him so he didn't have to write our address a million times. So, you know, nice mom for me. <laughs> so... I did go ahead and mat the photo with two six by eight pattern papers. And then I did move a couple of the little flappy things down because the mat that I put on my photo was the same as that little flappy and I didn't want it sitting on it. So I just moved those two down and it works out perfect. So I was going to put my frazzle down and I was going to put it all the way across so that it went underneath the photo. But um, yeah, I just couldn't waste it. I love that stuff so much. So as you can see, I uh, just put it on both sides. 
And so I'm just going to tuck that under. And I think she used some crepe paper or some tissue paper, uh, but I decided to use the frazzle. And then I have a little bit of this pom-pom trim left, and it is the perfect color. And I don't have enough to go all the way across even with cutting it, uh, but I am going to make it work. I'm just going to make it not go completely to the edge and I think it works just fine. I really love how this looks. She has some pom-pom trim in there as well. So that is super fun. Uh, the frazzles and the pom-pom trim are both from Color Rush Studio. So I will have their link down below as well as a, a coupon code if it's your first order. Uh, Cause yeah, I just got to share the things that I love. <laughs> So I went through my ephemera bits. I also went through my little extra pieces and pulled anything that I thought might work. I really like the idea of this postcard. They're obviously not doing postcards, but uh, it was still kind of the, the same idea. And then I needed something kind of at this edge. So I was thinking that tag, but the tag, it just... I don't know if it wasn't the right color, if it was too big. Something just wasn't right. So I end up with a ticket and then a little uh, globe that says heart and soul. I also have this piece of ephemera that's like a camera. Oh, gosh, I don't know what you would call it. Camera lens. I think it's a camera lens. Uh, but I've already glued everything down and I just wanted the top of it. So I just went ahead and cut it in half. So I think I will for right now save the other half of that ephemera. But if we get through this kit and that's left, I'm not sure I'm going to keep it. So I looked over to the side and realized I had uh, some Bramble Fox goodies from my Fox box mm, last month. The month before something like that and it had this word well a title it says memorable photo and I think it's a memorable photo <laughs> um and I'm scrapbooking it so there is that and then speaking of that I've had this piece of ephemera that says this and that this or that and I left I cut off the top and didn't use the bottom at all and I threw the bottom away so there is that. So I do have a couple of close-ups for you. I think I did add some tiny word stickers as well. But if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Go give uh, Jody some love and check out the playlist. And remember to wear your crown. And we'll see you tomorrow for another scrap lift. Bye.